Yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Hello? Uh, good morning. Is uh, John there, please? I'm um, sorry. No, he isn't. May I take a message for him? Um, yeah. Who's this? This is his wife, Nancy. Who's this? Um, this is uh, Lamont calling. Okay. Can I... Uh, and, and you're his wife? Yes, I am. Do you want me to have him return your call, or? Um, you know what? I'll actually, I'll, I'll just call him later. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. All right. You take care. You too. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. What's that all about? Okay. You know, let me just say this. She, she did say wife Nancy. Yes. Let me just say this. Every now and then, I'm not going to hang a guy out if this guy's cheating. I'm not hanging him out to dry. Okay. Shannon, if if you have yeah, some like, personal vendetta, yeah. mm-hmm. don't look at us. Like, this happens every three years, something like this. Someone will use it for evil. We're here for good, not evil. Well, for most of the time. And I'm not... <laughs> Wait, you know what? When we do these calls, oh, it's in good, clean fun. Oh, yeah. It's what do you want me to call? Spirited. What do you of want course. me to call I think some, that's well documented. Some wife up and say hi to your husband. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to tear that one up and throw it away. There we go. I don't want to see that. If you have a bone to pick with somebody, Dirty Friday is not the uh, exactly. proper forum to air your dirty laundry. Shannon. 575 KSJO. 1 800 But we must forge ahead with Dirty Friday. God, that pisses me off. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Phil. Yes, uh, this is Phil Garner. Can I help you? Hi, how are you this morning? I'm um, well, thank you. Can Good. I help you? Yes, this is Officer uh, Zinya calling from the uh, police department. And I'm calling in regards to her investigating a pornography um, ring. Okay, so what does that have to do with me, officer? Well, sir, it's come to our attention that uh, one of the photoshops that apparently you've been using is at the center of this pornography ring. And uh, now, do you do uh, pictures, uh, have pictures developed, sir? We have uh, credit card transactions and check receipts to prove that you've used this establishment before. Uh, Yes, I do. All right. Um, sir, did you get a roll of film developed there last month? Yes. Yes, I did. All right. Um, we're investigating this ring. According to one of the, um, the, um, miners who work there, hmm. his name is, is, is that correct? Have you, have you dealt with a guy by the name of Rob before? Yes, I have. Well, he's reported that he, um... He found these pictures and that you developed these pictures, sir. And if these are your pictures, they're in direct violation of the Pornography Act of 1996. Are you familiar with this? I am familiar with that. Yes. Yes, I am. So do you deny, sir, that these pictures are yours? Yes. They, they must belong to someone else. So you deny, then, you're developing nude pictures at... Yes. Yes, sir. Well, sir, according to uh, Rob and the sworn testimony that he's given so far, mm-hmm. he's, well, yeah, maybe maybe he's fingering other people here. I don't know, because I'll tell you what, just between you and I off the record, mm-hmm. I really find it hard to believe that someone, uh, uh, sir, sir, am I calling you at work? Are you having uh, a tough time talking right now, speaking? Um, yeah, I, I am at work. I'm just, you know, I have some other people working around me. Okay. Um, uh, anyway, off the record, Mm -hmm. and, you know, this is an ongoing investigation, but I will tell you this, I really find it hard to believe that, that someone would develop really skanky pictures of women like this. Mm -hmm. Well, well, that doesn't have anything to do with me, so. Well, and, and I'm glad to, because, you know, sir, I'll tell you what, the kind of pictures that we have in our custody... There's sluts in this thing. That like happen. there's there's some there's some pictures of women here that really look like they've been road hard and put away wet, and they've taken it to the next level. That doesn't have anything to do with me, sir. I understand, sir. Um, and that's why that's why I, you know I'm I'm sorry I'm taking so much of your time here, but I'll just say that the Rob indicated to us some of these pictures. One of them looks like a like a freak show at the circus. So okay, this listen. woman All is right. so okay, hideous listen, looking. That's mm-hmm. my wife, and she's a very good-looking woman, okay? And I don't appreciate you talking about her like that. For so God's sir, sake, God damn it, sir, you're a police officer. Sir, you under, so you understand these are your pictures then? Okay, yes, they're mine, but damn, you're a police officer. How can you talk like that? Sir, I'll tell you how we can talk like that. Philip? 
Yes. This is Lamont and Tonelli calling from 92 KSJO. You're on the air. The guys at work said to get you. It's Dirty Friday. Good morning. Phil? <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I You know what though? You have it coming. The guy is a dog. Hey, <laughs> you don't know what kind of arrangement he and his wife have. Oh, that's true. But obviously very proud. My wife is a very beautiful woman, he says. <laughs> the freak show one is the one that said yeah, him off. That guy got to him, I think. <laughs> Because he was still denied. Well, that's still, I don't know, that doesn't have anything to do with me. <laughs> yeah, deny, deny, <laughs> deny. It's 8.43, Lamont and Tonelli. Quit looking at what's going on this morning. What's happening around the world? Wow. Oh, that was beautiful. Old Philip went off the deep end there. Uh -huh. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Hi, is uh, Gary there, please? Uh, yes, he is. Just one second. Thank you. I didn't know we were calling him at work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> calling at work. This will be a surprise. <laughs> <Lots of breeze. laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, Good, Good morning. morning. I'm, I'm looking for, uh, Gary. Yeah, yeah, you got this. Hi, Gary. How are you this morning? This is Officer, uh, is there something wrong with your phone, sir? Sorry, Officer who? My, my name is uh, Officer Mitch, uh, Mitch Comstein from the department. Okay, Officer Comstein, uh, so what, you, you, can't, you can't hear me? We can, we can barely hear, we've got some bad echo here, this is a little better. Uh, listen, uh, Gary, the reason I'm calling you, we've had uh, a complaint this morning from one of your, your neighbors. neighbors. Uh, about, about what? Uh, concerning you parking on, on, the, uh, on the lawn of your residence. My lawn, right? I didn't park on his lawn, did I? That's that sob. I know what we're talking about. I've never parked on his damn lawn. Why didn't he just worry about his own property? No, no, sir. You see, I don't know if you realize this, but you're in violation of a city ordinance by parking on your lawn. No. And as a result, we've had to tow your car to the city compound this morning. That's why I'm calling. You're going to? No, sir. We have already. You, you went on my property without my permission and took my car off my lawn. Yes, sir. We've towed your car earlier on this morning. And the neighbor was the one that called, or you guys just drive around looking for cars on lots? No, sir. Sir, your neighbor called earlier on this morning and complained that you were in violation of this ordinance. Well, I'll tell you what. Is there an ordinance about kicking someone's ass? Because when I get off of work, that's what's going to be happening next door. Now, sir, are you threatening your neighbor to me? What? Excuse me? Sir, I'm an officer of the law. You can't go around threatening people. You realize you're in, in violation of a number of ordinances right here. Well, well, hopefully you're not going to be around when I get off work because I'll tell you, some things are going to be happening over there. I'm sick and tired of his crap. He's been, you know, it's one thing or another. My weeds are too high. My lawn doesn't get mowed right. Who the hell is this guy, you know? Maybe I ought to just move and go to some place where people park their cars in the lawn and we don't have that damn problem. Well, Gary, I don't know what kind of area that would be, but let me just tell you one thing. You, now, you have a roommate by the name of Jeff, too. Is that correct? Well, what the hell did he do? No, what's his deal? Well, what? Jeff Jeff said to give you a call this morning. Gary, you're on the air. It's Lamont Tonelli, Dirty Friday, bro. Oh, uh, Jeff, Jeff, you... I mean, okay, I'm going to be a couple of people going to be getting their ass kicked after work today. <laughs> uh, Gary, you sound, Gary, Gary. You, you sound like a sweetheart, Gary. <laughs> All right, well... I'm glad you guys got one. I'll tell you, that's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, Gary, Gary, hold on the line. I think we've got a copy of Deliverance for you, okay? Yeah, no kidding. Okay, we've got a little prize for you. Don't go away, okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my. I'm just going to move to the neighborhood where it's all right to park on the lawn. <laughs> I love Dirty Friday. <laughs> you never know who you're going to deal with on Dirty Friday. Hey, what, what the hell was wrong with his phone, man? I don't man? know. That sounded weird. Oh, it just sounded, it sounded like it was a Affecting the phone system here at KSJO. It sounded like it was coming from ours. Well, that wouldn't surprise me then. You know what? That may have been a first on Dirty Friday. We actually may have called a different phone system. That's worse than the one we have here. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Madeline. Please. 
Yes. Is this Madeline? Yes. Hi, Madeline. Mike Unstink's calling from the uh, Benoit Marketing Company. Yes. And I'm calling this morning because uh, I'd like to uh, ask you a few questions concerning some products you use. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, who is this? Uh, Mr. Unstink's calling. I'm calling from the Benoit Marketing Company. Are you, t are, you, are you telling me that this is some kind of like a, you want me to buy something? Do you have any idea what time it is? Ma'am, ma'am, I have got a deal for you that will change your life. What? All you have to do is afford me a few seconds of your time, Wait and second. you'll be... You're trying to sell me something at, like, 6 in the morning? You want me to buy something? Well, ma'am, ma no, it's not buying something. It's a service that will change your life. You see, I our mean, phone you service... If change my life, you can just hang up right now, dickhead. Look, look, ma'am, our long-distance phone service can save you a lot of money. You know, well, I don't understand you guys. Why don't you call during normal business hours? I mean, some people have other kind of jobs. I mean, I got in really late last night, and I got a, I thought it was an emergency. I mean, when I call, pick up the phone at like 6 a.m., you just never know what it is. And well, it's a telemarketing see, guy? You see, that's why our long-distance phone service is great, because some of the features that come Put with... Put it up your ass. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Boy, she wake up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> well, she thought it was an emergency. It was. An emergency to dick with you this morning. But you could change her life. I could. Make her happy. Oh, that's great. That's the challenge now. Ch change her life and make her happy. And I was I was almost uh, I was almost gonna hang up and move on to the next call here. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Madeline Madeline. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hi, ma'am. Mike Unstink's calling again from uh, Benoit Marketing. All right. All right. Uh, may I have your name, please? Because I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Mike? Mike. And the last name Unstinks. How do you spell that? U-N-T. U-N-T. S-T. S-T. I. I. N-K-S. Okay, Mike. And your boss's name, please? Uh, my, my boss's name is Mr. Benoit. Mr. Benoit, like B-E-N-W-A-H? Yeah. All right, listen, I don't know if you have, like, crap for brains or something, but I can't even imagine you attempting to call me back to sell me anything. But, ma'am, you I see, mean, you, see kind of you, sound, you sound very uptight. And well, I like, tight. I mean, you're calling me I at like six o'clock in the morning. Ma'am, I'd like to do something to you make your like life. An idiot. I mean, I, I'd like to do something. Know. I'd like to do something a little to make your life a little better, so you it's wouldn't be so my uptight. Life a little bit better would be to have you leave me alone, you mother. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> By the way, Sully, <laughs> make sure we get the unedited version for our CD. Yes. Okay? I want you to save the unedited version of what's running off the air. Huh, okay. Now we have to call her and back again. I, we're going to put that on this year's CD. Because, man, oh, man, has she got the, she's got a mouth like a truck driver Doesn't on her. she realize it's, it's good Friday? You know what I like? You know what yeah. I like? I like the fact that when we called her... What? Hello, ma'am. I'm calling from the telemarketing company. This is Mike's brother, Hercules. Call me what? Herc. Herc. This is Herc on Thanks. I'm calling uh, concerning the uh, the product that we have to sell you. Listen, Mr. Mike. Just let me tell you, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And I don't know if I have to call like Better Business Bureau or something, but you can't be making calls this early. I mean, I don't know what kind of an idiot you are that you think you can sell something by waking someone up. I mean, it just ma'am, like... ma'am, 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 let me let me tell you, we got a deal for you that is so good if you would just sit back tight, sit you light, gotta be kidding me. Are you and still listen to us? To it could save you a lot of money. I will tell you that's Lamont and Tanelli calling from KSJO Radio. It, it, Madeline, uh, you're on the air. Uh, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. You got... Oh, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounded like she was using Benoit balls there. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for David... Please. You got him. Hi, mister. How are you today? Okay. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? I'm just drinking a cup of coffee. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Mitch Cumstein calling from uh, National, and I'm calling in regards to your credit card. My credit card? Yes, sir. It, uh, what now, about it? Now, your, your account uh, based at the... Uh, correct? That's correct. Uh, it seems there's been some uh, suspicious activity on your card, and that's why I'm calling. What do you mean? Well, there, there was a couple of charges that look a little out of place on your card, and we like to be on the safe side here. But at I Visa. know what... I didn't make any charges. I, that's only for an emergency. Like, I I haven't, like, I look, I had 
it took me 10 years to build up my credit, so, uh, uh-huh. but what are you talking about? So, sir, are you telling me that you didn't use your Visa card yesterday? No. Well, there's somebody making charges on your card, sir. What? Do you have, do you have your card in your wallet as we speak? I should. Wait, hold on a second. No, I I don't. Um, could you please hold on a second? Sure. Laurie? Laurie? Oh. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I think, uh, that whore. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Excuse a little, me? Uh, a little upset. I'm so- I think, um, my girlfriend, I think she, uh, she might have it. You think your girlfriend might have it because there was a charge at Tiffany's, the uh, jewelry store Excuse in San Francisco, the, the jewelry store in San Francisco, Tiffany's? Tiffany's? Yes, sir. Uh, for how much? Uh, for, and let me check here, the charge for Tiffany's was $1,195. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, are you, are you sure you called the right person? Sir, here's your, your credit card number. Is no. 4072, is that correct? Oh! Um. Now, I know you don't have your card, and you probably don't have your, your, your number memorized. The expiration date on your card, this is undoubtedly your card. That, that sounds familiar. Um, I, uh, wait, well, well, what can we do about this? Because, look, I told you it took me 10 years to build up my credit. I only use this credit card for emergencies. I haven't used this thing in, like, six months. Well, that's why we're calling, sir, because when we see suspicious activity, an inactive card like this, when we see charges, so you think it's your girlfriend, are you going to honor the charge now? If you're not going to honor the charge, we could arrest her for stealing the card. I don't want to arrest... I... She's such a freaking idiot. What the hell? Dave? What? Dave, now, it's, it's either you pay the bill and honor the charge, or your girlfriend goes to jail. Well, look, um, I, I sell tuxedos. I, I rent tuxedos. I don't make that much money. It would take me a little while to pay it, but I don't want... I mean, that's stupid of her to do, but I don't want her to go to jail. Uh, could, you, you would arrest her? Listen, Dave... Can, can we work out some sort of installment plan or something? Or? Well, Dave, you can just pay it off on your card, or you can say hi to Lamont and Tonelli on 92 KSJO. Dave, it's Dirty Friday. You're on the air. Jeff and the guys at work sent to give you a call. Good morning. My, my coffee and bread muffins are about to come back up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, Dave, a little nervous this morning? <laughs> I have to take another shower. Hey, hey, oh, Dave, my God. Dave, I, I'm sweating. Dave, and I, I hope the whore understands if she hears this oh, on the air. Oh, man. <laughs> you bet yeah, it, it is. is. Dave, you oh, hold on. We may have a little something for you. Uh, oh, you might God. have to be forking that over to your girlfriend. <laughs> hold on, Dave. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, and all of a sudden it dawned on him. He's like, oh, no. Oh, oh that was nice. Dirty I Friday, 575. Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Larry, please? Uh, yes, that's hi, me. Hi, Larry. How are you this morning? Sorry to call so soon. This is, uh, and so early, this is Mitch Kumstein calling from uh, uh, Systems. Oh, yes, sir. And I'm calling in regards to a, uh, a resume package that I've received here on my desk. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I'm calling a little early. I'm calling from uh, Chicago. No problem. No problem. And um, I've got to tell you, uh, we're very interested in your skills and your work, at, your, uh, your work experience. Well, good. Now, Larry, are you currently employed? No, no. You're, you're out of work at the moment? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Are you willing to relocate at all? Yes, I could do that, I think. Okay. Um, I see you have a, a very extensive um, background here. Are you are you familiar with networking? Uh, yeah, I have actually done some work uh, in networking. Okay, uh, you you've done some work. Um, yes, yeah, some. <clears throat> okay, uh, Larry. Um, uh, the the job offers uh, uh, a, a lot of benefits, as you can imagine. We're a major company. We've got the four hundred one k package. We have a pension plan. And uh, the remuneration will probably come in around uh, forty to forty-five thousand dollars, depending on the package that we negotiate. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And moving expenses. You are willing to relocate? Uh, yes, if I have to, absolutely. Okay. You're willing to do pretty much anything? 
at this stage, pretty much, yes. Okay. Um, how do you feel about lubing up, Larry? Excuse me? How do you feel about lubing up? Lubing up? Yes, sir. And basically, Larry, what I'm asking you here is, would, 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 would you bend over and take one up the team? You're not from Cisco Systems, are you? <laughs> Larry, what makes you think that? Uh, uh, <laughs> Larry, Larry, it's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO. It's Dirty Friday, Larry. Oh, oh man. Uh, <laughs> good morning, Larry. <laughs> Your wife said to give you a call this morning. She did. Yes. Hey, yeah. How do you crack feel? a smile for us? <laughs> How do you feel about lubing up? Well, I think I got I got some for the little woman. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, really, Larry? She said to give you a call this morning and dick with you on Dirty Friday. Well, thanks so much, guys. Hey, Larry. <laughs> on, on, on the bright side, you don't have to lube, lube up. On the bad side, you're still unemployed. <laughs> but don't worry, it won't get any worse. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'm going to go fire my wife right now. <laughs> right. Larry, hold on the line, okay? All right, it's 6.53, Lamont and Tonelli. Five, Sounds like seven, a good five, guy, five, actually. Two. Sounds like a great guy. I'll yeah. tell you one thing. Good sense of humor. When we asked him a lubing up, did you hear that hesitation? I oh. think he thought, geez, is there something about this industry that I don't know? <laughs> he was going, lubing up. <laughs> you can hear the question mark. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Cheryl or Jim. Please. This is Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? This is Mitch Cumstein calling from the uh, AO. And I'm calling in regards to the problem that transpired with the repaving of your street. Oh, it's about time you guys called. I am, I tell you, I am so sick of dealing with this problem. Now, th now, now let, let, get me, let me get this straight. This happened two months ago. Is this correct? Uh, yes. Okay, now, two months ago, we sent a city crew out to clean up your home. Well, two months, it feels like a year, because my home is still not clean. I have sh So it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. Here, let me, I should open my drawer now. I could probably find a, a piece of shit there. Uh -huh. Somebody else's shit. It's not mine. Now, now let, let me, let, Cheryl, now just kind of contain yourself here, and let me ask you, the city crew that we hired... We had the report that it was it was clean. Well, did they come in with spray bottles of ammonia? Because my place is not clean. I need new carpet. Now I'm dealing with the whole carpet deal. Well, now, now from what I understand, we we replaced your kitchen. We replaced that uh, about two weeks ago. Is that correct? After arguing with you guys for two months, I mean, you guys felt that I didn't deserve a new kitchen after your guys' mistake. I mean... My house had two, uh, probably two feet of somebody else's uh, remains or insides in my house. Well, I, I understand that, and, and once again, we apologize, but we did send a, a cleanup crew to your home. A cleanup crew. And we, we, we replaced your kitchen. Let me ask, how can a cleanup crew, like, clean my house after I have two feet of sewage? I mean, uh, what exactly do you guys call clean? Well, ma'am, ma and, and we did replace the carpet in, in your living room. Is that not correct? After yelling, after after my kids had to walk across the carpet and, and I could smell that, I could smell the crap for it. And my house still smells like crap. It must have soaked into my walls. No, no, ma'am, ma'am, no, look, the, the way I'm looking at this, it is your property, and we've pretty much done all we can do here. You have to take some onus yourself to cleaning your own property. Excuse me? We, I mean, we've, we've said yeah, it is up. my property. It is my property, but it's your responsibility, the city's responsibility, to keep the sewage where it's supposed to be. The owner should you, you stupid people. The, the, I mean, you would think you would be intelligent enough to know not to pave over manholes that... And instead, it comes up in my sink, in my toilet. I mean, it comes up in my dishwasher. The owner, I mean, the owner, I have to clean my dishes in that dishwasher. We have to eat off those plates. I mean, you know what? The, you know, maybe I should ha save all my crap for the next two weeks and come pour it all over your desk and maybe pour it in your cupboards and let's see how clean you feel afterwards. Now, now, now Cheryl, I don't think you should go to that extreme of a measure because Cheryl. Well, you're telling. 
telling me that I, it's my response? Yeah, I kept my house clean, and then all of a sudden, I your think stuff comes up in the, I mean, the city's yeah, ma'am, responsibility. No, no, the city's responsibility ma'am, comes ma'am, up ma'am, ma'am, everywhere. Ma'am, ma'am, is it possible to talk to your husband, someone who maybe is a little more level-headed? No, oh, level-headed. Maybe I should deal with a man in this situation. Oh, now you are really pushing it. Now, ma- ma'am, maybe I should also... No, husband, no, no, because your husband, I am the one that's home all day long. I'm the one that has to smell this. My husband, he gets to go off to work. He just gets to pay the bills. But I have to deal with this, and I have to take care of my kids in this house. I have to have my friends over in this house now, ma- knowing ma- that this crap was in here. Ma- ma'am, your husband's name is Jim. Is that correct? Yes. Well, he told us to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tanelli on 92 KSJO. <laughs> you, 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 Cheryl, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I bet you're ready to add to that load right now. <laughs> well, I guess the whole world knows my house is filled with shit. Yes, we realize that the censor couldn't keep up with her for a while. <laughs> hey, Cheryl, hold on the line, okay? Okay. All righty. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I'd be a little ticked what a off, too. nightmare. Though. Hey, I'll tell you what. Was she angry, though? You oh. could just hear the anger in her voice, man. She was just flapping Dealing her Dealing with the bureaucracy. Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Mrs. Please. Yeah, this is Mrs. Gore. Hi, how are you this morning? Fine, uh, this how are is, you? Hi, this is Mitch Kumstein calling from the uh, photographer. Hi, Mitch. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you today? I'm great. Great. I'm so excited to see the pictures. Well, that's why I'm calling. Um, oh, no. What? Well, the film from your wedding, the uh, the pictures, all yeah. the film has been ruined. What? We, we've had a problem. Now, we're, we're not sure. We're trying to trace where... Wait a minute. The, what do you mean you've had a problem? We're not sure where the problem took place, whether it was in the development stage, whether it was in the lab, or whether it was actually on site, but the... the or it might have been the camera. We're not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? <laughs> we're, we're not sure where the problem took place, but what we're sure of is we don't have any film from your wedding. Nothing. We, we don't have any pictures whatsoever of your wedding. You have nothing. How, how does this happen? I mean, you're a professional. Well, well uh, we know, but it, we, that's what we're trying to trace right now. It could be mechanical. How many rolls did you shoot? We shot about 25 rolls of film. You don't have one roll? We don't have one you, picture from your wedding. You don't have, you don't have anything from the, from, the, from the ceremony? No, ma'am. And, and that's reception? why we... Nothing from the reception either. All 25 rolls are completely blank. Now, we don't know if the photographer left the lens cap on. What? Or we don't know if there's a problem with the lab that we're using and they Listen, destroyed the... you f- bastard. This is my wedding that we're talking about, okay? This is not, this is not some, like, party. No, 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 no. Calm down here, Kelly, because maybe we can... No, I'm not going to calm down. This is my wedding. Maybe, maybe you can grab a few of the relatives and gather them together and we can reenact this thing. And we'll shoot, we'll shoot a second ceremony for free. I can't believe this. Now, Kel- Kelly, is it possible to maybe... D- d- do you still have your wedding dress? Can you put it on? I'm not we'll putting s- on my wedding dress again. We'll contact the hall, see if we can take pictures at the hall again. We'll go to the church, try and reenact like some close-ups to make it look like some people are... We can computer graphically put some pictures in of people you know. I can't believe this is happening. This is like a nightmare. We, we can get a good picture of Troy, maybe. Put him in there. We can actually even have fun with it and have some fun pictures. It's not my wedding day. It's not the same thing. I can't believe... I mean, are you, how does this happen? How, the, we're, we're, there's we're, one day where I'm getting married, and, not, and, I, and you, you're calling me and telling me that you have no... Well, we, no pictures we, from that day? We actually have one thing that we, we, we could share with you. Your husband, his name is Troy, obviously. Okay. Troy said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> Kelly, oh you're on the air. Oh, my God. Thank God. I'm going to kill him, though. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Troy said to 
to get you and get you I good this morning. Right now. Do you know that? I'm going to kill him. Now, now <laughs> Kelly, remember, you're newlyweds. That means you can't cut him off. I will not. Not for another week and a half or so. <laughs> oh, he's going to get a couple of days for this stuff. <laughs> oh, thank God it's not true. Kelly, you've got your pictures. You hold yes. on, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Wipe your face a little bit. Oh, oh man. Wow. Hook, line and sinker this morning oh, on Dirty Friday. Hello, this is Victor. May I help you? Good morning. Uh, this is uh, James calling from Catering. Yes, good morning, James. How are you, Victor? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Uh, listen, the reason I'm calling you right now, uh, I'm going over the schedule for next week. Yes. And I want to know when uh, you want us to deliver the food for next Friday. Next Friday? Yes, no, it's sir. it's today. It's today, October 9th. It's today. What do you mean, next Friday? No, Victor, are you, are you sure it's today? Because yes, we have it. I, yes, I have it right here in the calendar, and everyone's here now. They're going to break for. They're going to break in a few minutes. I was expecting you to be here already. Now, what, what time? What time do you need us by? I need you here right now. Are you with me on this one? I need you here now. You should have been here setting up already. Oh my God! J James, listen. There's no way we can make it there with the food. We have I no idea. Victor, we listen, you have to come here Victor, now. Victor, Victor, there there's no way we can make it there with the food on time. Why not? Why? Because we just found out about it now. We have you penciled in for next week. Well, listen, who who made the schedule over there? This isn't right. This isn't right. Now this hold it. Right. Now now, who did you talk to when you when you booked the time? I talked to Randy. Randy scheduled this whole thing with me. Well, now, I listen, October the ninth. That's today. You should be here in a few minutes. Are you sure you told? Are you sure you told him October ninth? Yes, and he called to confirm back the next day. This was done last week. Now, James, listen, something has to be done. You better get your hind, your button gear and bring me some kind of food because they're breaking in a few minutes, and I don't know what to do. This is too huge. The CEO is here. Everyone is here. You're going to make me look stupid. My ass is on the line now, James. Now, now Victor, let, let me ask you this. Now, uh, obviously, th this is a surprise to us. You well, it's a surprise like, to me as well. Now, we will not be able to cater a full function for you. But we will be able to, like, if, 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 if need be, I could stop off and pick up a few items to put on a, on a table for them. you got to go and pick, what are you going to do, go to, and pick up a few items for me to give to a CEO? You know, Victor, maybe I can go and pick up some wieners or something. And, oh, my and, God. And... Listen, James, you can take your wieners and shove them up your ass. No, Vic, 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 Victor, please, I'm trying to help you here. You're not helping me at all. You're, make, you're frustrating me. That's what you're doing. My goodness, you don't realize how big this is. Now, this Vic, is my Vic, job on the line. Vic, Victor, we don't want to frustrate you, but well, there's nothing wrong with a wiener every now and then, is there? There, there is something wrong with the wiener right now. That's what I'm talking about. Vic, Vic, I, listen, I like a wiener just like everyone Vic, else. Victor, but, Victor, the, the, listen, the guys at work said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tanelli on 92 KSJ. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. You're on the radio, bro. Good morning, I, Victor. Oh, Oh my God! <laughs> they said you were. Oh, they said they, the they, caterers aren't supposed to be there till ten thirty this morning. Oh they, they, they said you were sweating this one out because all the big wigs are in town. I am so embarrassed. I've lost a pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Victor, you like a wiener like everybody else? Oh, well, I do like a wiener. My God! I'm not a wiener with the CEO. <laughs> Vic, Victor, you hold on the line, okay? We'll get you a little something for going on the air on this. Maybe a sponge towel. You can dry yourself off. Oh my God! Okay. Okay. Oh, Hang so on the line, silly. Victor. <laughs> okay. It's. So funny, he goes. <laughs> Did he say he lost a pound? Yeah. Is that what he said? I think so. I don't think it's from embarrassment. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Suzanne. This is she. Hi, Suzanne. I'm calling from Promotional Marketing Services. My name is uh, Mitch Kumstein. And I'm uh -huh. calling in regards to congratulate you on your uh, winning our grand prize. Winning? I didn't. I didn't enter anything that I remember. What? What do you mean? Well, what, what do you mean you haven't entered anything? We sent you promotional material last month, and you didn't respond. You won a free breast augmentation. Excuse, excuse me. Yeah, ma'am. Ma you won a free breast augmentation. We sent you something in the mail last month, and and you didn't respond. And that's why I'm calling you this morning because we have the uh, the actual surgery slated for like 30 days from now. And we've got to get you in there for consultation and for the doctor to measure up and see what kind of cup size you'd like to increase to and that kind of thing. I, I, I think you have the wrong number. I, I don't have any interest in that. No, no, ma'am. Is your husband David? Yes, yes, he is. Well, he entered your name at Mitchell Brothers. We had a drawing at Mitchell Brothers last month. What? 
Yes, ma'am. And he thought, uh, uh, he said he was entering your name, and the reason he entered your name was because he thought you would enjoy a breast augmentation. And congratulations, you're a winner. You can make your husband happy. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I think that there's been a mistake. Um, my husband loves me exactly the way I am, and he doesn't have any interest in my doing anything like that. Well, no, uh, uh, Suzanne, you see, we talked to your husband. There, we, I was the guy working the booth. And may I add, that man spends money when he has a good time. My husband was at Mitchell's? Yes, sir, uh, yes ma'am, and, that, and that's where we had our drawing. And uh, we were talking to all our contestants, and he wrote down on the entry sheet he'd like to win you this boob job. I can't, I can't believe this. Did he not broach the subject with you? Because we, we actually informed him that you won three weeks ago. He never said a word. I mean, he never said a word to me about wanting me to even think about that. So, so how big, now that, now that we're actually talking to you, how big of the boobs would you like? Would you like would you like A, B, C, D cups, double D, triple D? Oh God! I, 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 I you, can I can I call you back? I feel like I need to think about this. This is a lot to think about all at once. How big are your tits? Excuse me. Well, how big are your boobs? Maybe I can help you over the phone. I, I can't believe you. Suzanne, Suzanne, yes? your husband David. Yes, he's he's yes. happy. He's happy with their boobies the way they are. Suzanne, it's Lamont and Tonelli calling on KS Jail. You're on the radio. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, God. Your girlfriends Cassie and the gang said to give you a call and and have fun with your boobies this morning. They almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I'm sure you were clutching your chest. My husband always tells me he loves me how I am. Like. Oh my God. You sure you wouldn't like bigger tits? Tell you. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> hey, Suzanne, hold on the line, okay? Okay. We don't, have a special Montanelli training bra for you. Don't go away. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's six we never really did get how small she is. How or big how... are your tits, yeah, by the way, Suzanne? I, I, is it anything you're nervous about, Suzanne? <laughs> I, I don't think... I just got this already. <laughs> well, no, but Suzanne, see, for Beat on Dirty Friday, we wanted to send you a bra. Yeah. A KSJO bra. Lamont's face is on one cup and my face is on the other. We wonder what size to send. Oh, God. And if you're really nice, we'll send you a pair of panties with Willie Nelson's picture on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on the line. Okay, I, I don't think she's going to give us an answer. Uh, okay.